the 18th of May 2017, Nigerians woke up to the news that Nollywood actress Muji Olaya was dead. At first, some people didn't believe the report, but as time goes by, all news media confirmed that Muji Olaya was dead in Canada. The reality of her death became real when a memorial service and artist night was held for her. On this occasion, our colleagues, our friends, and our family members gathered to pay tribute to her. Clergymen had their session that evening. So right now, Pastor Jubilee Lopez from Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. So I would like to speak briefly on a topic that says Dying is an appointment with God. Can you say that? Dying is an appointment with God. And then our colleagues and friends had their own sessions to pay tribute to the deceased. While other people were talking about the life and times of Moji, we got an update that the remains of the late actress was going to arrive at the Muritala Mohamed International Airport from Canada. who left Nigeria with her two legs as a passenger now arrives as a cargo. The next day, Wednesday, May 7th, 2017, the remains of Muji Olaya was scheduled to be laid to rest. Family, friends and colleagues of the deceased actress converged at Ebony Vault in Ikoi. For those who saw the actress before she traveled, this day was the next time they saw her again.
Muslim clerics were at the venue of the burial to carry out the necessary proceedings for an Islamic burial. Initially, they gave a sermon. Afterwards, they said a prayer on our remains. <laughs> You know, when they're inside you, you're wishing that um, she could actually wake up along the line. But um, unfortunately, this is the final destination. It's dawning on everybody that Mujolaya is indeed dead. And um, I just pray that God gives her peace and rest. That's all we could ask for. This is extremely, extremely painful. I remember when she was in her forty eight like two years ago, there about yeah, I was present. Mujolaya has always been a wonderful person. There was never a time we had cause to fight for over anything. She's so smart. Every time I'm on set with her, it's always a wonderful thing. It's extremely painful, like I said the other time. But in all, I pray that God should grant her internal rest. She's a nice woman. Very calm, homely and friendly. She's um she's a kind of person that doesn't want trouble. She doesn't want any wala. I'm sure we're gonna miss her. Because um and um she's a kind of um <sighs> she's nice. She's I met her last at um, Nasfat, Alongibadon. That was the last time. So uh, 
Moji Olaya, who died in Canada about two months after giving birth to a baby, was given a befitting burial in her fatherland. All this was made possible through the collaborative efforts of Nollywood actors Fetia Balogun, Foluke Daramola, Bimbo Thomas, and the only man amongst them, Yomi Fabi. If you recall, when Moji Olaya died, there was no means to fly her remains to the country. Because her family members could not afford the cost for her to be buried in Nigeria, they planned to bury her in Canada where she died. But some of her colleagues rose to the occasion and made sure that she was brought back. We met with these actors and they told us how they made it happen for Moji Olaya to be laid to rest in her father's land. The family had opted that the corpse should be buried abroad and then we of like minds because the association wasn't really showing up then. The association, they are, they are yet to send somebody as delegation to commiserate with the family. And then we had, a, we had a, an issue that is like, it's urgent. It, it happened out of um, uncoordination because we didn't, it wasn't what we planned. We just got to the house, they too, and um, they said they had they agreed that um, Moji's body lied there. And I'm like, no, it's impossible. Why would they bury Moji outside? What's at the end of the day in future? The children want to go and say something to their mother's grave or something. Where would they go to? You don't do that. And Moji is a celebrity. She's well known in Nigeria. So why would you want to bury Moji over there? And we decide that no, we can come together. Let's start jotting names. We in the industry can tag, can pencil down certain amounts for ourselves. Let's raise this money. Let's bring her down here. Our children need to see where their mother is being buried and all that. And then, of course, when you have two, three, or four people together coming together for a purpose, it, perhaps it becomes a committee. So the committee was founded based on common sense and duty of care because we have we have a, a, a reasonable conscience that is working with us. So we quickly formed this, and then we informed the family, and they actually also gave a representative to be within us. We tried that, and we were able to do it. We started reaching out on you know several platforms to raise money, and God helped us. So Moji has gone to rest. The rest is for us to keep on with our good work or bad work, whatever you were doing. But I just have this very great feeling that um, Moji is resting well because our soul is so beautiful, our spirit is even better. She will find eternal rest. She's just a pleasant woman. So she's got a befitting better, which I believe she also deserves. So we thank God for all those that supported us. We thank God Almighty for giving us a privilege. Finally, Moji is lying right here at um, Heboni Vault. Um, we want to say that God should please in his infinite mercy, you know, protect us all, protect the family of Moji Olaya, guide us in this entertainment industry. We don't want to lose no life no more. These actors have proven to be friends in deeds when Moji Olaya has passed away. And this is where we would round off our account of how Nollywood actress Moji Olaya's remains was laid to rest.